This is Savannah. She's 35 months old, otherwise known as two years, eight months. And today I'm going to be doing the Hawaii Early Learning Profile on her, otherwise known as the HELP. The assessment age is birth to three years. It's not standardized and it is curriculum based. It's used for identifying the needs, tracking growth and development and determining the next step to take. This assessment can be observed in multiple settings and it's very flexible when it comes to the frequency of its administration. Some of the areas that it assesses are regulatory and sensory organization, cognitive, language, gross motor, fine motor, social, and self-help. Okay, Savannah, I need you to bring me the doll and the yellow doll dress. Savannah, I'm going to give you two markers and you're going to tell me which one is bigger. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Okay, what we're going to do now is I'm going to draw two lines on the board and you're going to tell me which one is the longer one. Whenever you're ready. So what we're going to do next is we're going to practice throwing balls and different sized smaller objects into a hamper and into the smaller bin. I'll hand you every object and tell you which one to put it in as we go along. First, I want you to stand right here with your toes at the edge of the red tile. And then you can throw this into the hamper. We want to throw it underhand, not overhand. With both hands? If you'd like to, yes. Good job, that was great. <laughs> We're gonna go one more time with a different ball. This one weighs a little more, so we'll see how it goes. Good job. Now we're gonna move on to throwing smaller objects. So I have two pairs of socks, a foam baseball, and a toy pig for you to practice with. We'll start by having you stay right where you're at and throw the, the socks into the taller hamper. Good job. Next, we'll have you throw the socks into the smaller bin to your left, the yellow one, and you can line yourself up with it if you'd like. Good job. Next, we're gonna throw the pig, but let me grab the socks out. Now all we have left to throw in is the baseball. Good job. That was a great job, Savannah. We're gonna try to make it a little more challenging for you and have you take about a foot and a half to two feet step back, which you already have done, which is great. So we're gonna do the same thing and throw that ball underhand into the hamper whenever you're ready. Good job, we're gonna try this one, but let me grab the other out of the hamper real quick. Whenever you're ready. Next, we're gonna do the same thing again if you wanna line yourself up with the smaller bin. We'll start with the socks. Okay, try the pig. Good job, and the baseball. Good job, you did a great job today. Thank you. I heard you really like the movie Cars, so I've got Tomater here, and we're gonna pick him up off the ground, okay? All you have to do is copy after me. So there he is down there. is we're going to try to walk backwards for 10 feet. We'll start right here and then we'll go back five squares until we get to this doorway. Can you show me? 
Yes. I'm going to go right like this. And stop at the doorway there. We don't want you to go too far. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Flamingos. Well, you know how they always stand on one leg? Mm -hmm. We're going to try that today and we're going to count together to see how long we can stand up like that for. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So now we're going to switch legs and we're going to see if you can stand up like that a little longer this time. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Okay, so what we're going to do next is you're going to walk down the stairs and pretend that there's a big bucket of your favorite toys down there. We're going to just walk down to grab some, okay? Now is for the fun part. I'm going to give you some pens and you are going to be able to draw anything that you like. There you go. What are you thinking of drawing? Smiley face. That's beautiful. That's very nice. I'm sure your mom will love it. We can give it to her at the end of the session. Okay. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to build a three block bridge. It's going to look like a pyramid, okay? And then I'm going to give you three blocks and you can build the same thing. Okay? Here, now you try. So Savannah, you did really well today with everything we had you do, and after reviewing everything, I noticed a couple of things. For when we were testing to see if Savannah could obey two-part commands, which is typically seen around 18 to 24 months, she was able to bring me a doll in a dress rather than the doll and the doll dress. When it came to pointing to larger or smaller of two objects, which is typically around 30 to 36 months, Instead of picking the bigger highlighter, Savannah picked the longer one. When she had to decide which line was longer on the dry erase board, the same thing happened and she was only able to pick the shorter one instead of the longer one. She was unable to say which one was longer. That was for the cognitive section. As we moved on to testing gross motor, when it came to picking up the toy from the floor without falling, which is typically 16 to 23 months, Savannah was able to keep her back straight and pick up the toy no problem. For walking backward 10 feet, which is typically 28 to 29.5 months, Savannah had no issues and was able to do it perfectly. For standing on one foot, 
from for one to five seconds, which is typically around 30 to 36 months. Savannah had no issues as we pretended to be flamingos and you were able to stand on your right leg for six seconds and your left one for eight. You did a great job. As we moved on to walking downstairs while alternating feet, which is typically around a little over 34 months and onward, she wasn't able to alternate and she used both hands on the railing on the same side. At the end of her showing me how she goes down the stairs, I showed her how I do it and we're hoping to see some improvements as we go through our intervention. When it came to throwing a ball in a box, Savannah showed great skill and she was able to make it in for every type and every size ball that she was given and box. She was able to throw the bigger ball into the hamper and the rolled up socks and smaller toy into the bin and the hamper as well. When it came time to test Savannah's fine motor, I had her make first designs or spontaneous forms, which is typically around 24 to 35 months, and she was able to make this beautiful picture that we're gonna give her mom at the end of the session. And she was able to manipulate the pens as she drew and made small and controlled pictures. For imitating three block bridge using cubes, or as I described it, making a pyramid, is typically 31 months and on. For this, Savannah was able to make the same block shape as the example and she even was able to match up the colors with the same colors that I use them in the same form. And while I did notice some difficulties, Savannah did really well. For her actual age of 34 months, she showed that for cognitive, she was at an age of 23 months, gross motor, 32 months, and fine motor, 35 months. You were doing really well with your fine motor and your gross motor too. Some of, we have some interventions planned that we're going to discuss with Savannah's mom at a later date.